Hi, this is Terry at FireplaceBlowersOnline.com. Uh, today we're shooting a video uh, of our GFK 160 blower kit. and We're actually going to do an unboxing. Uh, this is the way you're going to receive the blower in the mail. And we want to show you and point out some of the differences on our 160, what comes in the kit, why we think our kit is better than some of the other ones. And we want you to see the way you're going to receive the blower when it comes at your house. So. We're going to remove the staples out of the box and you're going to have to do this. Again, this is our 160, the GFK 160 blower kit. And we used to use bubble wrap and we've upgraded all our packaging. Uh, we're using foam uh, padding in here, top, bottom, sides. Uh, it gives the the packaging and protection of the blower kit it's it's much higher so when you get this not only is it packed in here and you can see we've got packaging all the way around it's a box in box we're using 200 pound crush cardboard um, so this thing is packed well when it leaves here and it's delivered to your house there's not going to be any damage so you'll see your instruction sheet is laying in the main box, the installs. And we're gonna go, and this is where you're gonna see when you get your blower. The wires have all been tucked. Now let me turn this to you. There's a couple accessories down here. There's an adapter, a three to two adapter that's included. And one of the biggest questions we get is, People are going to pull this blower out of the box and they get it all out at their house and they get all the other things attached and they go, oh, you didn't send me a sensor. We, the sensor is magnetic. It's on a little plate with a magnet and we package it down here just to protect it. So you're going to reach down here and remove the sensor. It's down by the motor, it's magnetic, and it just attaches itself to the bracket. So here is your sensor. Now I'm going to move a few things out of the way and explain some of the things on our, the features on our GFK 160. The, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to come fully wired. It's pre-wired, fully assembled for you. It requires that you attach the knob onto the speed control. Um, use your adapter and I'll point out one other feature in a second so here's your kit as you're going to receive it at home first of all we're using all ball bearing construction uh, the ball bearings we have found out over time last longer and they're quieter than a standard sleeve bearing so we've upgraded all the motors to all ball bearing construction you're going to notice that the housing is black powder coated this is going to prevent this housing from rusting. It gives it a nice appearance and it really is there to protect um, so it doesn't rust in the fireplace. You're also going to notice on the blower kit itself, it's freestanding. One of the rubber feet is out. So they just slide in and out of these notches. This is a seven pound blower and it's going to sit in your fireplace on those four rubber feet. These housings, besides being uh, powder coated to protect, having a metal housing around your fans, which are inside, they're composite fans, this housing dampens a lot of the air noise. This is really a whisper quiet blower. It's 160 CFM of airflow and even on full, you barely can hear any air noise at all coming out of this blower. So this blower is an outstanding blower. The blower comes with a variable speed with a variable speed control. It's an on-off variable speed control. In this bag, there's a locking nut and a knob. So you're just gonna put this on. You have a magnetic temperature sensor. This is the easy install sensor. It's magnetic. This sensor is going to attach itself to the bottom of the firebox. It's done. 
The install for this literally is getting the blower to the back of your fireplace. Most of the installation is done. It's a matter of minutes after that. In this box, or in this bag, there's also some Velcro strips. And the reason that they're in the bag, we don't put them on because this blower not only can be used in a vertical position, in a lot of wood burning applications, they use the blower like this, where they're blowing the air horizontally instead of vertically. So all they would do is change the position of the rubber feet. And, but in most gas fireplaces, the blower is gonna be installed in the vertical position. And the blower goes all the way to the back wall of the fireplace in that lower chamber. And these Velcro strips would go, I'm just gonna roll this forward. They would just sit on the, you'd put one on each side of the bracket, remove the plastic covering. It becomes adhesive underneath here. And this will also help attach itself to the back wall and it insulates the metal on metal from the bracket to the back wall of the fireplace. So that's what these pads are used for. And we just wanted to point out some of the features why we might not be the lowest cost guys out there, but we feel we're offering the highest quality blower on the market today. Again, all ball bearing construction. It's fully assembled when you get it. If you look at some of the OEM kits, it comes with just a pile of wire with a bunch of jumper cables. And if you're not an electrical engineer, chances are you're not gonna be able to figure out the installation on it. We wanna make this a DIY project for everybody. Anybody can do this themselves. And you can call us if you have questions. Our competitors have no phone number, most of them. Call us on a Saturday afternoon if you receive a blower and you have a question, we'll answer the telephone. Give us a call on a Sunday, we'll answer the telephone. If we don't answer it, leave us a message, we'll call you back. We, we understand when you receive your blower, you wanna be able to install it. You have questions, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So again, this is the overview. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. We always ask that you have four and a half inches of clearance to get this blower in. This is vertical clearance. So four and a half inches is with the rubber feet on. A lot of fireplaces might only have four and a quarter inches clearance. All you'd have to do is remove these rubber feet, get it through the initial opening, and once through that initial opening where it's more restrictive, you can get it through and then just slip these rubber feet back on again. It's, it's really this simple. So it's important that you check your measurement in your fireplace to make sure you can use this blower. Again, four and a half, and you need a minimum of four and a quarter. So again, this is the overview of the GFK 160. Assembled, pre-wired, ready to go out of the box. Upgraded packaging, upgraded bearings. We feel we've got the best blower kit on the market today. If you have questions, give us a call. Again, my name is Terry, fireplaceblowersonline.com, 262-989-4882 or 4883. Thanks.